Well, Alex, it feels like a big day for the club. From a player's point of view, with the announcement of new custodians of the club, how's it, how's it been? It's really exciting. Um, I think it kind of puts to bed any uncertainty that might have been going around the change room or the wider community. And, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic platform for us to now really try and progress in the next 14 games. Because it must have been hard for you guys with it just being sort of talked about before sort of every game. Then you had the announcement just before Tuesday's game. It feels like at least there's an answer now. For sure. I have to say that of, of all the changing rooms I've been in, the, the way the team have applied themselves, it's obviously you're aware things are going on outside of your control, but it's never affected anyone in the changing room. Um, you know, the staff, the skipper, everyone's been, they've shown some really strong leadership during these times. And... Um, Yes, it does provide some certainty, which is fantastic all round. But um, you know, credit to the guys that they've gone about their business how they have, because it wouldn't necessarily be the easiest thing for people to to experience. So yeah, it's um, it's it's great for the club. It's really positive all round, and um, you know, we as I say, look forward to the future very much. So. And have you had any dealings with with any of them yet? Uh, we've sort of seen a few people knocking around from time to time, but I think they've kind of kept their distance as, as like maybe a, a, appropriate before things kind of get uh, set in stone. Um, but um, we've only heard very positive sentiments about everyone involved and um, you know we, we welcome this with open arms. And on the game on Tuesday, how important was it to stop that mini losing run that you were on? Yeah, it, momentum can swing both ways and you know negative momentum can lead to more as with positive. So it was good. I mean, it seems to be a bit of a, a continual theme where we come away from a draw thinking we should have had more um, and the second half performance was, was again very solid. It always it's such a motivation shooting before in front of the, the home end, the Thatcher's end and you know they make such a difference there. It would have been great to have got uh, a win in front of them and with all the circumstances and the, the words before the, before the game about the you know sort of new stewardship. Um, it would have been fantastic to get the win but uh, as you say it kind of just stops a, a run of some average performances and average results and um, yeah it's uh, it, the table looked a little bit nicer after the game than it did before it. Yeah do you feel like you're getting closer to that 90 minute performance because we've spoken a lot haven't we about the second 45 minutes mm -hmm. being much more positive? Yeah I mean I have to say that the first half I don't necessarily think it was a, a, a bad performance um, but the, the <laughs> you go down you one nil down at half time it doesn't look great um, and it does pressure does build from time to time you can get a little bit twitchy and panicky and sometimes it does take half time just to sort of re reassess the situation and realize actually we're in, we're in a pretty good position here and there's lots of positives to go out for for the second, second half and yeah we we certainly would like to be uh, some of the managers mentioned uh, numerous times you know you, you can't just do it for half a game it's got to be for for the majority of the match you took on the armband, of course, and you had a few chances yourself, didn't you? But there was a keeper in form. Yeah, sometimes they sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. Um, I find when you haven't necessarily notched as many goals as you'd like to, uh, keepers always seem to find form at the wrong <laughs> times. Um, I was very proud to have worn the armband, um, and I was very grateful for the opportunity. Uh, it would have been lovely to have scored a winner or the equaliser myself, but um, you know, it was it was a very proud moment for me. Yes. Um, Mark Cooper has been very complimentary of, of you, but he's also challenged you, hasn't he? Do you, he's saying you have a really great relationship. It feels like you can be so honest with each other. Absolutely, I think that's um, I think that's a mark of the character that he is, and I like to think the character I am. Um, you know, no one goes out to uh, intentionally put someone down. It's for the benefit of the club. There's no there's no bad party involved. So um, sometimes you need to hear the criticism. It's going to be more uh, beneficial for your development than, than positivity sometimes. And um, you know, he he's sort of uh, certainly kept a very open line of communication with me, which I very much appreciate, and um, I just really want to try my best to repay it with good performances and ultimately goals. And you mentioned the league table there. Psychologically, to get out of the, the bottom four after slipping into it, is that really positive for you as, as a squad? There's been a bit of a mention that we don't want to look at the table too much because you can get absorbed by it. Um, however... It was nice to see it. You know, it was. It was at the time. You don't know if, if a point's going to be enough compared to other results. And when you see that, yes, it's only because of maybe goal difference, and we do have a game or two in hand on some people around us. I think it's a real psychological boost. Uh, I really like that, and um, I think you you walk away from the game realizing that yes, we could have won, but that point is actually a real boost all round. 
and you've been in relegation battles before. It's quite a young team that you've got surrounding you, but it is in your hands. Are you taking a leadership role alongside those young players? I mean, everyone's chipping in every way they can. Um, having experienced uh, football, both <laughs> the highs and lows, uh, I like to feel there's a few things that I can, I can make, I might recognise, uh, and if if it can be, you know, brought in, in front of the lads and said, look, you know, we're not at panic stations or anything like that. Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Then, then great. But I, I think everyone is very aware of the situation that we're in, um, in terms of where we are on the table, and no one really loses sight of that. But I think just that. As long as we don't realise that it's it's too much to worry about just yet, um, is the main thing. But yeah, the guys in there are, are very uh, very composed, very calm, and they um, you know I think we all know what's required. And ahead of Saturday, a tough home game against the very informed <coughs> Woking side. But with the news that's coming out of the club, you must feel like they might be able to the crowd might be able to get you over the line. And overall, the home form's been good. Yes, yes, I, I agree on all fronts, and it would be great to see as as many of the. Uh, Hewish Park faithful out there uh, cheering us on and um, it'll be fantastic to get a, a bit of a bumper crowd for this one um, and for the rest of the season. And of course it's a return for former manager Darren Sell, so some of the players in the changing room are wanting, wanting to, to get one over on their, their former manager. Does that have any impact on the players at all? Um, I'm not too sure. I think there's always a, an added element of uh, spice, I suppose, to those kind of fixtures. Um, but we'll be looking out to put a very professional performance out, no matter who we play against. Um, and um, I'm sure there'll be motivation both sides to try and get one up on the other so you know we're certainly going to be making sure that we're the ones that have that. And 14 games to go, the cliche is they're 14 cup finals but does that put too much pressure on it? Do you just try and take one game at a time? Uh, yeah I'd, I'd say the latter. Um, personally like you can get absorbed by too much about what other people are doing. We could fall a fixture or two or a point or two behind people and you, you can think that it's a, a very t a time to panic but 14 games is a lot of time um, and there's a lot of points to play for and uh, something that was mentioned in the changing was with so many games coming up so consistently I know we haven't necessarily had the best run of form uh, consistently throughout the season but one week could completely change the season you know three wins in a week all of a sudden nine points puts a real gap between us and, and then people behind and I think even if you do fall a point or two behind knowing that you have that in hand is, is really important. And you mentioned it there, as did the manager, that attacking the Thatcher's goal and just seems to give you that big boost. What would you say to the fans ahead of, of Saturday and how much you need them? Uh, it's honestly, I, I can't say. There's times when, I'll be careful with my language, um, <laughs> there's times when you're tired um, <laughs> and you hear someone shout something or a bit, and a bit of support or come on, you know, and it, it really galvanises. I, I really can't stress support that enough. Um, it'll be great to see as many people out there as we can and it makes a massive difference. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you. Hi Alex. How you doing? All right, you? Yeah. yeah, very well, thank you. You're good. Um, would it be fair to say that, that uh, with the news today, that a kind of cloud of anxiety has sort of been lifted from you guys in the dressing room? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, sort of following my, my sentiment from a, a couple of minutes ago, it's I think the guys in there are very professional set of guys and people that have uh, taken to the situation pretty well because you know there's stuff going on behind the scenes that's completely out of our control, but because we recognise it's out of our control, we've tried not to let it, to dwell on it too much. Um, but, you know, if you're lying to say it doesn't, there's a small percentage that thinks about it. So to have the clarity that we have now is, is a really positive sentiment. I asked the manager whether he was concerned at the, the number of goals that were coming, or the lack of goals that were coming from um, outfield play rather than penalties and what have you. Does that obviously concern you a bit, I should think? I mean, yes and no. I think if you were consistently not getting in the right areas as a forward and consistently not having at least a few chances, then it's time to be worried. And I think over the average of that has been reasonable. It's up to us to... manager can only get us to the goal. We've got to put the ball in the net. So I wouldn't say there's too much anxiety on that front, but it's, you know, the, the table doesn't lie in terms of goals scored, and we're obviously very aware of that. But um, I think the more... Uh, nerve you put on that, that you're just going to start snatching at things you just got to take every game as it comes every chance it comes and just know that the course of the season it will be enough um, Mark Cooper was a little bit uncomplimentary about the strikers in general um, do you think he was being harsh or did you agree with his criticisms I mean there's there's times when post game it can be it's easy to say things that um, 
can be quite maybe critical or cutting. Um, I think he's within his right to a certain extent. Um, I don't think there's a personality in the changing room that would take anything too personally. Uh, I sort of see it more of a, all right, let's go out and show him. Mm. Um, and maybe that's what he's looking for. Yeah. There's, there's quite a few young players in there now. I mean, two, two, you know, very young guys from Bristol City. I mean, it, do, do you find us, as, you know, one of the senior players, with, with all due respect, uh, not that old, but um, <coughs> that you, you know, you've got to, you've got to carry them along a little bit. I mean, you've got to psychologically. I mean, I mean, yeah. There's a. I suppose when you've got to think about it from the player, the, the position of the players coming in. You know, they're they're aware that they're going to be in a bit of a relegation scrap at the minute, um, and it's up to us to make them feel welcome, and it's up to us to make them feel comfortable. Because ultimately, if we get the best out of them, it's the best all round. Um, so. I would say that there's only so much um, you can put on someone being young. I think I think they kind of know the score, and a couple of the new boys are in the Alex Fisher Car School, so they oh, right. yeah, <laughs> they're, uh, yeah, they will be we will be able to debrief after training and after games. So um, yeah, it's uh, I think it's positive to get some bodies in the door, and it's it really helps with our squad depth. Now, <coughs> it's, it's almost a, a, a local derby, it's perhaps not, but they're fairly close working. And obviously the, the, the fact, you know, Daryl Sarr's manager there and he was here. Um, is, is that a good sort of game to have at this particular juncture in that you want to kick on now? You've got, it's almost like a new start, isn't it? If, if you could start fresh from today, you, you'd want to win it. Is, is this the sort of game you want yeah, to motivate I'm, you? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I don't think we'd ever go into any game like not motivated. Um, I think given the possession we're in and the kind of guys we are in the changing and we, we look at every game that, this equal amount of importance is the next. Um, I think as um, Sheridan mentioned, there's certain aspects of this particular fixture that uh, add an element that's a little bit different to the other, but uh, I think we're just going to go out and kind of tr keep our own identity and, and not lose sight of too much of the wider wider situation in that respect. Well, good luck for Saturday. Thank you. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. And let's see some goals going in. <laughs> It'll be nice. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Alex. Hi Alex, how are you doing? Very well, yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. How would you assess your season personally? I'd imagine you've not scored as many as you'd like to, but I think you gained a lot of plaudits of how hard working you've been and, and helped the, the team around you. Um, yeah, I mean, as a forward, you want to be trying, if you're not scoring, you want to be at least affecting it or creating assists or being a nuisance. I think my style of play isn't necessarily one that will get you a shed load of goals, but I like to think that I would certainly contribute in other ways. And um, yeah, there is a, an edge of disappointment in how many goals that I have scored. Um, so there have been the odd chance here or there that you could, could have put them away um, and uh, either good saves or what have you, but um, I, I certainly wouldn't put too much pressure on myself to be necessarily scoring goals so long as the team's performing, which I guess points-wise we haven't, so that does add a little bit more pressure. Um, so I'd say, yeah, my assessment would be I'd like to score more goals, but I, I, I am proud and um, of how I have performed in the majority of games. And obviously you've returned to the club this year, how does that compare to when you first came? I mean it's a, uh, obviously a, a different league, um, but it, the, the ambition for me has always been to just give my all for this club, give it everything I have, um, and that's kind of what I focus on the most. Uh, this kind of feel around the place is, is kind of the same. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'll tell you what it does do actually, coming second time here is, the, the transition moving in, you know, it, it's like well, you've, you've already been here, so it's like coming back home. So it's it's a very easy transition back to somewhere where you've already been, and it's the first time in my career I've experienced coming back to a club that I've played at before. Um, but yes, certainly my uh, intention out, out on the field is, is always the same. And like I said, it's important to get the point on Tuesday. Is it also important now we've got two home games to look forward to and really get this crowd kind of behind you? Certainly with everything that seems to be being announced in the last sort of few days, um, and it will be it will be a really good opportunity for us to try and repay the law support that we've had so far. And if there's a bumper gate and there's a bit more buzz around the place, then it will be great to be able to, uh, you know, put on a show for everyone involved. That's it.